So let's now take a look at the impact of AI on HR. And there are four areas where we're really seeing this technology take hold. The first is not surprisingly around experience. As we've just seen with the consumer experience, we can translate some of that into the employee and the candidate experience around how we can use AI to really improve the personalization and the recommendations that both your employees and your candidates are receiving. The second is around recruitment. With something like recruitment, there are many different touch points in the process where we can use technology or something like AI to improve things. It could be around selection or assessment or using a chatbot to really engage better with the candidate. The third is around learning and development. Similar to the Netflix example, if we're consuming content on a regular basis, then we can see platforms learn about our preferences and the types of content that we like to see. And again, we can create that personalized recommendation. And then the last is people analytics. With all of this data that we're generating on a daily basis through using all these new platforms, we can start to do much more advanced analytics of that data and really start to be more predictive. So those are the four areas that we're looking at when we think about the impact of AI on HR. So as we've just seen, there is a huge opportunity for HR to think about implementing AI in their organizations. As we've also seen, there's a huge explosion of technology and new vendors in the market for HR professionals to think about and implement to help with their use cases. However, is HR ready? Well, HR.com ran a survey, and you can see some of the results on the slide behind me. It's encouraging to see that nearly 80% of HR professionals felt that they could see a world where chatbots would be answering employee queries. And that's perhaps not surprising when you think about how we're becoming more comfortable with chatbots in our consumer lives. However, only 46% felt comfortable with the idea of AI being used to a high degree in the next five years. And that's somewhat disappointing, but also maybe reflects how ready HR is to embrace this technology today. Lastly, you can see that unfortunately, there is a huge number of HR professionals who feel that they're still not knowledgeable about AI. And that's something that we're trying to target with this course in terms of upskilling HR to really understand more about this type of technology, but also something that we need to think about as an HR profession is how can we get to a place where we feel much more comfortable implementing AI technologies to help with HR use cases.